welcome back to the channel 23 here and i know i've been gone for a very long time but i finally moved and i can finally put out content today we have an episode of how to lbr now this is a 10 and 0 this is for my people that really want to improve in lbr or like they're kind of struggling you want to get your flawless tag you want to prove you're a true main of whatever tag you play the most unfortunately i didn't get the opportunity to play the latest lbr which was i believe it was self saga actually not 100 percent sure though because I, I honestly didn't really check that was just kind of the theme at the time so this is the one just prior this is the future one um yes vegeta blue pretty much stole the show as you can see the conditions were 30 percent tag fusion warrior base health i have no idea why they did that vegeta blue did not need any more power but i'm assuming maybe it was for the people that had him at like maybe they put one copy or so just a little reminder these games are pre-recorded and i'm talking over them now so i mean let's head into the first game let's break this down so this is match number one the game pretty much starts from this screen like you really want to look at your opponent and see who they're most likely going to bring and kind of work around that in terms of picking your team but as you can see this guy saw my team and he said yeah i'm, I'm not having it so he's just gone in with some rc so i mean straight off the bat first hit if you've got a bunch of z plus equips put them on it helps some people just do not want to have to deal with that so i mean there's not really much to see in this video so we're just going to wrap it up and go to the next one but tip number one Okay, match two. So this is a pretty basic team. Stars aren't too crazy. A tip I always give to people um, is don't play your game straight away because of the, the way the matchmaking works. I literally saved all these games to the last day, but usually I'd recommend really space them out or just play them all in the last two days because the way the matchmaking works is you win a game and get 500 points. You lose a game, you lose 500 points. But when we start, everyone starts on the same amount of points. So why would you head into a game straight away and end up facing someone that's like really good when you could just wait it out a bit in the hopes that a lot of people that are like pretty good have already completed their run. So always kind of save your games. Anyway, we do lead with Rosé here. I always tend to back up. I went for the green. I didn't think it'd go immediately there, but I wanted to stop time. I switched out. I know now he doesn't have a vanish, so I went immediately. And I'm just kind of all over the place. But it's alright. When you're starting out, kind of starting out by feeling out your opponent, seeing what kind of play style they have, and then you can kind of just pick up from there. Now I understand my team is probably better than most people's but regardless you can still win these with like good strategy. I've won the girls tag LBR, I've won plenty of LBRs, even the ones where there was an ultra and I didn't have the ultra. Anyway here we go into the Geo, kind of stop him from keeping that combo up. I do see the tackle from here, I drop combo into Rosé. He didn't quite switch. I was expecting that Rosé switch. But that's fine. Here I popped the main because I'm tight neutral. Got some draw speed going as well because he switched out. He was going to take advantage of that try and build up my next ult. I see I get the rush and I just go for it. It's a master cannot come back just yet. So this should be a kill. Unfortunately, he guesses me though, which is fine. But I mean, look at all the damage we've got down on the board already. Um, and he DCs there, which I, I noticed. I don't know what that was about. Um, in this game, I was pretty aggressive. I 
I'll be honest, when someone's team isn't that great, I don't focus too hard on trying to outplay them. This is probably not what you should be doing. You should really focus on those games, but this guy's team is like really subpar. So I'm kind of just throwing cards at him. Anyway, he has DC. This was a win. I don't think you want to watch me fight a bot, so we're just going to go into the next game. So, the next match, we've actually been faced with Vegeta Blue, which is a nice little setup. This guy has got his team set up correctly. This is how you meant to set it up to give yourself the best opportunity to win. Personally, I would have gone for Trunks um, because he just got Zenkai and he's boosted. But Rosé is also still very valid, the purple one, because green Rosé will be around. Anyway, I start off the way I usually start off, I back up. First, I didn't think he'd have a blue, just, I just didn't think he'd throw that at me. So I wanted to go for the cancel, it was alright, we do catch him anyway. We go into Vegito. And if you can get into Vegito pretty early on, that draw speed is nice. He did switch out into his Vegito. I thought I'd still have my attack notification, but obviously ran out. But that's fine. I've gotten to kind of waste his Vanish, like his free um, Vanish gauge reduction. Now we're just sitting in here with Trunks. Trunks can take this all day. I feel like Trunks is very big in this as well because the Vegito blue is red. But you know, we're trying to just mitigate damage. I had to switch out to Vegito there. I'm kind of feeling like at this point he just sidestepping a lot. I tried to go forward there. I don't know what happened. But when I see people jumping on a regular basis, like just consistently jumping, I'll try to time it, move forward. I believe it just didn't let me go forward. I'm not too sure why, but we're defending quite well. We're switching out when we need to. We catch him there. He's going to take quite a bit of damage from that. Uh, he went for the long range blast kind of keeping my distance because i feel like he's got a green he's standing there and that's usually what people do when they have a green so look i came up real close to him usually when i come up close to people and i remember what happened in this situation people would just use their green i came up close to him on everything i started to lean i wanted to lean but it made me tap i think you'll see further on in Maybe this gameplay, a situation where I do the same thing, but it just didn't tap, which what I wanted. For some reason, maybe tap and it actually captures me. So we are kind of on the back foot here. We really need to lock it. We do manage to win that clash. That was a big one. If we lost that clash, that was probably the game. We have got a rush here. Okay, he switched out at this point, and I've got a tight modification now. Not type notification, I've got um cover null. We're just gonna rush. And a lot of the damage I took stemmed from that. Honestly, there's, there's a, sometimes there's a problem with the game's input. Like I knew he had a green card. Why would I go up and tap him? I came up to him and I stood in his face. But the thing I like to do, I kind of like to lean a bit so the opponent sees that I'm doing something. So they just press the card, but it just made me tap. Anyway, he does tackle there. We catch him. He is throwing. He's lost the unit. And we're going to ult. I believe he goes into a geo. He doesn't. So he's going to lose his race eight here. I mean, Vegito just is insane. He does way too much damage, man. Like, I've turned the game around with a rush and his tackle, like, his poor tackle decision. Okay, so maybe it's not this game where I, I bait people's screens. It'll be, in a, it'll be in another game. And my clashes were just on point at this, at this point. Clashes are so important. Clashes really win games. So I always recommend before you go into LBR, just play some rank, play some rank, get some clashes in, should be good to go. Okay, let's head to the next game. Okay, next match. Because we've won some games, now you can see we're kind of coming against some more competent teams, a lot of mirrors. This was the, the main team, the meta team to run for this, this LBR season. 
Usually I like to lead with Rosé because I want to use Vegito's Vanish Gauge Reduction in a position where I can win priority. You can start off with it, but you know, it's really going to lead to someone just switching out and from there it's a coin toss, you know, they could PV you, you know, so it's, it's better to just lead with someone else and then jump into Vegito if you get the opportunity to catch someone. Okay, leading with Rosé. This is game number five. So, I see this guy's just jumping a bunch. I really, I should have gone for the blue. But I do try strike cancel. Don't know why I did that. Um, but usually people tend to just stop jumping once I make an input. But we do manage to catch him with the cover change. I'm going to go straight for the blue. Please let Vegito take it for some reason. Here, I can tell he's got green. So this is this is what I tried to do last time. I go into his face and I lean. Last game, it made me tap the guy and I almost lost the game. But that in that situation, that works a lot. Here, he switched into Trunks. I switch into Rosé. And this drop combo absolutely destroys him. Like at this point, he, he's messed up. Um, I believe he forfeits after this because, yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he didn't really want to keep going. The drop combo in that situation, I kind of went for it because he was switching out a lot. He was one of those really agitated players. So, I mean, that made all the difference. Let's head into the next game. Okay, match number six. This person has opted for Zamasu, but, you know, there's a bit more of a competent team. Double archers. Once again, I'm always leading with Rosé, not switching it up. I think it just works better for this team, so. Okay, you know the drill. Rosé to lead, you back up. I believe he jumped there. Oh, yeah, there we go, we timed the blue perfect. He's gonna take a big hit. Cannot be doing that. And he's, you just cannot. Personally, I would've switched out and he's just done it again. He's still not switching out, <laughs> so I don't know what he's doing. And I catch him there, he dies. He taps, he, he's thrown the game so early because he refused to switch out. He gets rid of my vanish, so at this point it, it just only makes sense to switch into trunks. He's lost the unit, so I don't really mind. Here, I don't want to take too much damage, so I'll let Gia take it. We've got such a huge advantage at this point, I can actually afford to just switch out like an idiot. I did expect another strike, so we went into rows. Usually I wouldn't switch out that often, but we can do that because he's already lost the unit. So here, we just go straight for the ult. And we went full screen because we were a bit earlier than him um, when he tried to put the blue. I think he expected me to, to jump uh, halfway through the screen, but I could tell. Doesn't quite kill Rose because he switches out. But I'm alright. Here is just straight damage. The advantage is just so big. So, you know, we're just kind of just we're controlling the field at this point. Here we're gonna build up our gauge. Absolutely fine with that. Get all that healing back. Get trunks at full power. I do dash into his face and jump with the perfect vanish there. And from here we just cook. Got some type null, type null, cover null. So I used the opportunity to get in one more strike and we're just throwing ults, throwing all the ults. Cause look, in a situation like this, 3v2, you take the ult, take a lot of damage, you switch out and make it even harder for yourself. So if you ever like put yourself in a position where like right at the start of the game, kill the unit, just go high progressive. Obviously use your brain, but you can afford to go high progressive because if they switch out from all the ults that you're throwing, it only makes it harder for them. So here we're chilling. We've got Trunks ready if we need him. If he decides to rush, Rose will be the rush target, I believe. Yeah. If he does even manage to get rush. Okay, so here he does blue. We might as well keep Rose alive. Trunks literally eating that and look there again he had a green card i just dashed into his face and i waited it works so often 
It's crazy. To here, just gonna keep going with trunks. Gonna pop our last main. I don't know if this kills. He did because he popped the green, so he gets um, type neutrality. Uh, so I don't think this does enough damage. Not quite. That's all right. Here we're just throwing stuff. We want to vanish and go straight into a rush. Nothing he can do. We have another blue as well, so he's probably thinking it might not be blue. Nice. Um, that's about it. That wraps up that game. Uh, the mistake that guy made was just being. He was just doing too much. Like Zamasu was damn near dead. Just switch out. Could have saved himself a lot of pain. Okay, on to the next game. Okay, heading to game six. And this is a perfect example of why I always say play your games late. Because you will run into people like this. This guy should, and this is a matchmaking thing. He's only got, look how many points he's got. We should not be matched. But there's just not enough people in the pool. So he's just forced to get destroyed. Anyway, so this should be a pretty simple game. Once again, it's game seven. I mean, he's using a free play unit, bro. Um, pretty standard. He's got no vanish. It's gonna cook up with the one and only Vegeta Blue. What a unit, man! I'm so happy this unit dropped. He switches out to Zamasu, but honestly, I'd much rather just wait till Rose is back. I don't see the point in switching into Trunks, and then I switch into Trunks. He just goes into each Trunks, and you know. So we just keep combo going with um, Vegito, my Rose is back, he still took a hell of a lot of damage man, his team's not the greatest. This is this is obviously a matchmaking thing, it does catch me with the green, we shouldn't be facing each other, because I play my games late, like right at the end, like this was the last period to play the game. Um, the pool is very small, so it kind of just puts you in with um, whoever's available for the most part. Um, like he doesn't stand the chance but anyway we are in with rosé we're gonna go for the blue following the green he dies uh we do catch him jumping there I'm gonna switch into trunks pop the ult oh no ult okay so master clearly wasn't back and there's their left very easy game seven forfeit on to the next Game number eight, we've got a mirror match up here. This guy's team is pretty stacked. So I don't remember if this was a tough one, but yeah, it's a good team. Leading off with Rose again. We are almost at that finish line. He also needs with Rose. So this guy's got some brain cells as well. So, I mean, that's always nice to know. Here, just comboing up. We do drop the combo perfectly. I was expecting a switch out. Didn't think it'd be Trunks though. And damn, is he taking a lot of damage. From there, I did think he would go into Vegito. So I switched into my Vegito just to be safe. Um, but he doesn't. And he is just letting me pop his insurance for some reason. He's really babying that Vegito. Uh, I thought he'd delay his attack there. Or wait for me to jump. So I kind of delayed my sidestep. That's fine. I mean, here I'm going... For, um, well, I was going to get one of these with my blast. He did drop. He just doesn't want to go into Vegeta. Um, I'm not sure. He's just holding on to him so tightly. I think it's because of that, um, that ability. Do I drop here? No, no, he just doesn't want to go into Vegeta. Can I go into Vegeta now? Okay, finally he does. He's taken so much damage because he's just tried to, to hold him to that vanish gate for that I don't know what he was holding him to that for. Like you need to be able to distribute damage as evenly as you can. Uh, I do believe I go for the cancel here. He's put main, so I kind of just waited because when people put main, they want to use that. So I'm not going to initiate because I don't need to. Like you want to use that. He's just played it very poorly. And now, because everyone in his team is so damn weak, we're just going to throw this at his Vegito. Get his Vegito down as well. I mean, look at the health from his team after this ult. 
ridiculous. Like, they are literally dead. <laughs> like, I could blow my screen and everyone would die. Here, we do switch out twice so we can catch him and we wait for the jump. Uh, this was a 50 50. That could have been a blast or a strike, but I didn't really care. I saw the question mark. I was like, let's just press the blue. At this point, the game is over. Completely over. I'm just going to sit here and wait for Trunks to come back. Obviously, I'm anticipating a rush. If he wants to rush, he can take my what he say. I'm absolutely fine with that. And at this point, he just wasn't doing anything else but combo me. That combo just lasted so long. We do cancel hit. I didn't cancel that. Oh my days. Okay. So he catches me with the green. I would have thought I strike cancel. But we do we do keep up the aggression. Uh he doesn't manage to evade and that's it. Okay. Game number nine. Almost there. Um, I mean, variations of the team is either if you've got chunks or not. So if people aren't running chunks, they're running some Masu. But this is still a pretty good setup. Got triple Zenkai buffs. Personally, I feel like that HP buff from Mai is needed. Like, you're just missing out on a bunch more health and the extra Fusion Warrior health. Like, come on. Anyway, here we go. I start off with the cancel there. We do catch him because he jumps when we switch out. This is a really dangerous position to be caught by VB, but he does have some Masu. Um, just kind of trying to combo up. I thought he would tackle me there for some reason. Don't quite. It's all right. We're going to trance. Start working on that gauge. Does go into Rose, which I'm fine with for now. The damage isn't too crazy. I want to just kind of get the gauge popped. He opts not to pop the gauge though. I do swipe out of my tackle and catch him. Just keep going, man. Look at that. Blue. He doesn't switch out to the Geo for some reason. I personally wouldn't have wanted to take that damage because if he gets caught, like here. He is kind of forced to switch and he hasn't switched. He's just given up his rose. You would think people would play a bit better um, at this stage. Anyway, he he pops my gauge. No, he doesn't have key. So I'm just kind of, you know, feeling him out. Another PV. PVing this guy. Okay, so. Who's left? It's just it's just Vegeta. I mean, he's gonna switch off Vegeta, but this is gonna hurt. Trunks full gauge. This is easily one of the hardest hit ups in the game. I think Vegeta's is the hardest, but and um, obviously that doesn't look insane. To be fair, that is a lot considering how much extra health Vegeta's getting, and he like boosted. Another cancel. He, and look, he's, he's falling for the same things. Like, if you're going to keep falling for my strike cancels, I'm going to spam them. Until you switch up your play style. You know, I don't know why it's messing him up so much. And I've done it so many times. We just keep falling for it. At this point, we rush. You know, Vegito has got um, the ability to nullify endurance and stuff like that. And he's tapped neutral. Fortunately, just guess me. That's fine. He rushes me here. Did not expect that. At all. Um, do we use Vegito? I think my Vegito survives. Oh, he doesn't. He does not survive. Oh my days. Okay. Um, but yeah, we gave up Vegito. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know why I gave up with you. I, I think I could have actually come out of that. I mean, the game's long done. Trunks was important to keep in this fight. If anyone's getting rushed, I don't even mind my Vegito getting rushed, but I need a blue unit because Vegito is going to destroy everyone else. Like, you just need a blue unit. If this Trunks is last alive with Vegito and you haven't got a rush, like, he's not really going to do much. He could pop a green, but. It's got to land it. And we're going to let you land it. Unlikely. 
At this point, we are literally like a combo away from killing this guy. He's just prolonging his death. Look at this combo, cheese. Ah, uh, he doesn't. He doesn't fall for the strike cancel this time. Look. Um, I am trying to get rid of his vanish here. He uses the green. He got me. I should have figured he had a green. Going to Rosé, take the hit. And I'll be fair, this guy's making a pretty decent comeback. We are waiting for the jump, but he's locked my blue cards. Jump again. Oh, he doesn't jump again. Okay, so this guy switched up his playstyle at the end. But I mean, at this point, not really much you can do. I'm gonna take this Rosé ult. I don't know if he knows this, I don't think so. If he does have a smidge, yeah, he's down. Okay, next game. Last game, next. Okay, heading to the last game. This is for the Flawless. When I see this guy's team, straight away, I think he's either really good or he's cheating. Because as you can see, he has also won all of these games. I'm not too sure what happened, but we are going to find out. But his team is just not up to par for someone that is getting that many wins. I mean, he's got A equips, no HP bench. Stars aren't really doing much. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if he DCs. Okay, we do leave with Rose. This guy also went in with Zamasu. He's got to be cheating. If he DCs, he's cheating. Because the team's just not the par. But anyway, we keep we keep it normal. Play it how we usually play. He hasn't got um, a vanish there. The reason I jumped is because I wanted to see if he'll jump straight after. Although I could have gone immediately. I want to see if he'll jump straight after. Because it kind of gives me an idea of his play style. Damn, look at that. I do drop the combo. He doesn't even hesitate to switch. So, I don't know what that's about. Go into trunks with blue. Tons of damage here. Just piling the pressure on him. Like, yeah, and he DCs. So, yeah, this guy is clearly cheating. I don't know if legends are going to, like, look into that. Because there's obviously some sort of problem. This guy's left the match and I'm sure he's somehow done something so he can get the win. Either he's DCing and not losing and then he's just playing people over and over again until that like, gets a win or something. But I don't know what that's about. But anyway, we'll let the rest of the game play out. That was the 10 and 0 flawless. Like in the grand scheme of things, it's not too difficult, but I will drop a few tips. One, practice and rank PvP. You've got to. You need to be warm. Like you need to you need to experience some clashes, get used to like your pace down, stuff like that. Super important. Two, your team is important. Um I usually do drop a video on the best teams for LBR. I was a bit like I couldn't do that last time because I've been so busy, but I will be back on top of that. And number three, just take your time. Like, you don't need to rush into things. Like, other people are kind of sweating. So, if you're just getting tilted and pressing cards, you're not going to win as many games. Um, I mean, outside of that, I appreciate you showing up to the video. Hopefully, you um, picked up some value. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like. And subscribe once again i do stream on twitch and i have said this a million times and i haven't been streaming but now that i've moved i can stream again but where was i i do stream on twitch link will be down in the description and i'll see you in the next one Why don't you say something?